Welcome, everybody, to another episode of Hot D. Yeah. We're talking the newest episode of House of the Dragons. I'm joined, as always, by my fantastic panel of nerds. Dutch is here. What's up, dude? Hi. How you doing? Um, I don't know. <laughs> Guess I'm ready to not talk. I, I don't know what I am. You said this episode should be 20 minutes long. Yeah, there's nothing happened. <laughs> there's nothing happened. <laughs> Judah's also here. Hi. As soon as we got here today, he goes, if this episode takes 45 minutes, I'm going to be fucking pissed. And then he goes, Dutch is here, and he goes, hi. Um, uh, he always throws me. So He sounded like eager. He throws I'm you by saying pissed. hello. Yeah, hello. I, know. I don't even know what to say. I'm going to be fucking pissed. <laughs> Matthew Kittis is also here, producing the show. Yeah, I think uh, this should be called uh, Bodhi. Because it's boring. <laughs> Very boring. Days of our dragons. Days, Days of, of our dragons. Yeah. I like that. I, like, like, th this is the second episode in a row that was like super boring. Yeah. So I don't mm. know what's going on. Mm. There was some like lesbian action that came out of nowhere. Oh, I was yeah. really confused about that hot as well. Lesbian action with hot D. We'll get there in a second. <laughs> it's a hot V. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hot V is real. <laughs> Charles is also here. Yes, hi. <laughs> hi, how y'all doing? Uh, all right. Without further ado, we're going to get into this. Uh, don't forget, guys, if you'd like to discuss House of the Dragons with us, go to saltynerddiscord.com. Uh, we have a, a channel over there where you guys can chat about the week's episode. I'm sure we'd love to hear some thoughts because I am at a loss of words. I'll, I'll talk. I thought this show was going to be more exciting. Right. <laughs> yes. What's up, Charles? So... We first find we meet we see actually we saw him again we saw him first in season one but we see Tylan's twin brother Jason Lester, yes who is the Lord of Castle he's a badass too yes and Lord Paramount of the West actually okay. Warden of the West Lord Paramount of the Westerlands yeah and he got a lion and yeah he's got oh, yeah, yeah they're rolling up with the the Lannister music and everything <laughs> like oh, yeah. because before I knew what army it was that we were like because it was like a wide shot coming in uh -huh. I heard like a the, the reigns of Castamere play and I was like oh, Lannisters I got really excited I don't know why I just was like yes freaking Lannisters interestingly awesome. enough I hate to be a stickler uh huh they're not but, Lannisters well they are okay but the reigns would not have been even create that song wouldn't have even been created yet and Castamere really it would have been a house the reigns would have still been a Bannerman of the West. So this is before that whole story. Oh yeah, because oh. that was because of Tywin, because Tywin basically because his dad was a freaking wimp and a simp. Basically, what happened is that Tywin had to put them in line, the Reigns and the Tarbex. Hmm. So he destroyed them so completely and utterly. They made a song for him. He got his own. That was Tywin's song. Oh yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. He had his own theme song. That's how badass Whoa. Tywin was. And mind you, at 20, 21 years old. Okay. It's okay. important to have your own theme song. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. I also liked how the Lannisters rolled up and it's like, yeah, we're not attacking a dragon. We're just going to wait here <laughs> until, so, until we have our own dragon. They're so right. pragmatic. I, yeah. The Lannisters are like, look, that's a bad <laughs> tactical move. We're not going to do they're it. They're pra <laughs> pragmatic up to the point where like they're traveling with their own lion mascot. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they got their and, mascot. And, man. and they basically go to, because I, I think this is a bannerman or somebody. They said, oh, yeah, we're going to stay at your place. We're going to enjoy your. Yeah, oh, yeah. We're going to enjoy your, your hospi uh, hospitality. Quality. Uh, who who did they roll up on the the these guys with the blue the blue uh, the guy with the most badass beard ever he did have a good beard <laughs> he did have a good he had a beard great beard <laughs> Lord that, good beard Lord Ooh, good beard I like, I like that. that actually that would be a sobriquet um what yeah, seriously though who are these people do we know I think they're more Riverlands people yeah yeah oh, okay they're probably at the I, edge of, I, I want to say like. Uh, golden spear or sun like it's not sun spear, oh they're golden tooth the golden, oh, golden tooth yes. that's where they're at yes. yes okay yeah. yeah. So uh, there, it's like it's the border between the Riverlands and the Westerlands. Okay. Because I remember that was a battle when Rob was kind of declared himself the young mm -hmm. king. And all that, so. Now, this episode is more of a tactical episode on Rhaenyra's part because she's utilizing the, the opposite side of like a straight up battle. She's not going to war with armies versus armies and dragons versus dragons. They're, they're using the episodes named as small folk. Yes. Mm -hmm. So they're using a different propaganda. tactic. It's propaganda based. White ops. In this episode. Yeah. Uh, white ops. I like that. <laughs> That's what it is. <laughs> That's what it is. That's what it is. Um, Turn the people against them. Yeah. yeah. So the Lannisters, uh, their army was like, yeah, listen, we're not going to go up against the dragon unless we have our own. So uh, call Aemon. Get him out here. Yeah. And, uh, and then we'll do it. Aemon's Aemon dragon like is even bigger than Maelie's was. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. He's yeah. long or longer. Yeah. 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 And Eamon, Eamon gets the, the note from the Lannister saying, yeah, we'll go when you show up. And oh, he's like, yeah, he, got, yeah. he got so bent out of shape. He got in his feelings. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> this one this one hurt himself. <laughs> he's like, I'm the rage. Yeah, yeah. Which was such a weird, like, 
like you would expect that from somebody like uh, like uh, Aegon because he's got more of an ego to him. Aemond, I mean, I know he's like he thinks he's hot shit, mean, but I you thought, mean the king Aegon. Yeah, yeah, the king Aegon. I mean the de- the almost dead one. You don't the, summon the king. Well, you don't. I, I would get that he would be a little more in his right to a. Uh, be a little put off. But. Yeah, but he's just the stand-in, right? Yeah, he's but, not the king but at the same time, he's being summoned, and you don't summon the dragon. Right. <sighs> That's how it is. Yeah, but wouldn't, wouldn't he look at this? That dragon, wouldn't bro. he just look at the situation and be like, you know what? He's right. I do need to be there because they're going to go up but against the dragon. But these Targaryens still have an ego. Yeah. They mm. have their dragons. They have their ego. They see themselves above normal men. What yeah. did Kristen? There's a way of going about things. You don't tell me. Yeah. You ask. You ask. This is request. the first time, also, when he's in the small council meeting, that everybody on the table is basically putting slightly better ideas out there. Yes. Than what he has. Mm-hmm. And to his credit, he goes, "All right, Kristen Cole, what do you think?" <laughs> Kristen Cole goes, "Yeah, man, you need to do what they're telling you." <laughs> yeah. And, and he's like, "Yeah, all right." Another thing too, <laughs> and I I don't know why they changed this, but. They brought up the triarchy again. Now, initially, I know that it was Otto who had reached out to the triarchy initially. These are basically the pirates of the Narrows, right? These are the pirates who are kind of assaulting the Stepstones. Uh-huh. And the, the ones that Damon was fighting in season Damon one. Damon and Corliss, yeah, were yeah. fighting in season one. So given that Damon, they're still salty. Yeah. <laughs> salty over what happened. I guess they brought that up again, so they're going to come into play when it comes to the uh, blockade. Yeah, yeah they want to. The the um, sea snake basically has it, his navy blockading Blackwater Bay, which is basically choking King's Landing off from all like the the trade and supplies mm-hmm. and stuff like that. And so the Greens are basically since they don't have like a navy, and it's going to take like months for any ships from Old Town to make their way like around the continent. Or Lannisport. Or, or Lannisport, um, and the the um, Greyjoys aren't responding to anything. Uh, so uh, basically, he's trying to make an alliance with uh, the the navy on that side of, of the continent in order to uh, you know break the the blockade mm-hmm. uh, from uh, what, what's Corliss's uh, seat? Is it the Driftmark? Driftmark, the mm-hmm. Driftmark fleet, and um, it, basically, like one of the things is, is that like because the step or the triarchy is so disorganized, it's taking a long time for them to kind of like yes. respond and stuff like that. Yeah. And that was one of the reasons why. Um, why Aegon felt like Otto wasn't being effective as a hand because he was just writing letters and, and mm-hmm. trying to negotiate so, these deals. Are the triarchy like these dudes out there in speedboats with little machine? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> kind of. And, 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 I'm the captain now. <laughs> and and there are three, and they're three, three of the free cities. So I think it's and they're terror- basically yeah. all out for themselves. Oh, yeah. and it's really hard for them to work together. All right, so, so you it, know, they're yeah. just chaos. But if you, I'm, I'm just, I'm just putting it in modern, yeah, modern mm-hmm. world. They're like, yeah, they're pirates. They're hoodie pirates. Yes. They're bo- yeah, yeah, okay, basically yes, they are, and it's, yeah, it's late lease Tirosh, and I forgot who the third one is. <laughs> and, the, and they're basically trying Bravos? to leverage. Could be Bravos, but they're trying to leverage their anger with uh, Driftmark and Damon to fight for King's Landing. Like, look, yeah. you guys hate these guys too, right? So do we. And let's fight them. And one <laughs> and one of the concerns that the small council brought up was just like, are you sure we want to? Yeah, we don't people? trust them. Yeah, because they could turn on us. Because that, that's what Kristen Cole actually brought up. He's like, yeah. are you sure about that? We want to let them in there. Lee Smear and Tyrosh. Me, yeah, Lee yeah, but and a, another factor with the triarchy is that they have experience battling dragons in the Stepstones, thanks mm. to Damon. Yeah, scorpions. So, so scorpions. that is uh, that is going to be a factor as well. Mm. Yeah. Now the next big thing that happens right after this scene, he uh, D- Amon releases. Everybody from the small council. He says, "Mom," <laughs> and he double releases. But, but he, yeah. but he also, but he also, but he also tells Tylen, "You got to get your brother in line." Yeah, which I mean, whatever. What's he gonna do? <laughs> yeah. well, also, before that, uh, the Grand Maester comes in. And he's like, "Good news, the king is doing well." <laughs> Aemon's like, doing better. Shite, <laughs> 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 the, the way that he played this was so chilling. He was like, "What happy news?" <laughs> <laughs> I'll have to go. I'll have to go. I'll have to go visit him. Yeah. Make sure he's okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's like wait, 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 wait. Bring, yeah, bring a pillow with me. Yeah. <laughs> wow, <laughs> the, the only eye like, open. It's like that episode from Norseman when Orm goes in and he starts feeling. He's like, I can feel your heart. It's right here. Let me just uh, let me just squeeze Does it a little that bit. Hurt? Yes, it hurts. <laughs> it hurts. It hurts mm. a lot. Oh, Jeff, that really hurts right there. <laughs> <laughs> Go watch Norseman. It's very funny. Uh, so, yeah, oh, yeah. So, yeah, the end part check where... Watch. Oh, my God. <laughs> so, the meeting within the meeting. Yeah. Uh, Eamon releases his mother from the small council. Bitch, bye. Like, oh, oh, as he you, well you know, Alex, what was funny about this is I kind of wish that you were there watching it with me and Jude because uh, I turned to Jude and I was like, 
what do you do here? <laughs> <laughs> at, at that moment, I, I was just like, this is the office space moment of yeah. House of the Dragon. Yes. <laughs> Allison is like, I do with the goddamn customers. Now, now she's lost all power. All power. Yeah. And she's, and he's like, I'm sure you'd rather go do more domestic pursuits. And he's like, means, go, I know go what sew. you're doing. Why don't yeah. you take up knitting? <laughs> go sew. I'm, I think I'm going to put you on the market, marry you off to some lord in some other country. Gosh. Play stupid usurping games, win stupid usurping prizes. I mean, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's just she basically orchestrated her own ruin. Yeah. Yeah. Downfall. yeah. And I, I feel no sympathy for her. I don't either. None You're not supposed to at yeah. all. It's kind of in, like you kind of deserve that. Yeah. yeah. She can go mope around with Kristen Cole and I hope we don't spend that, too much time listen, on her moping around. All, all though. that motherfucker. No, she told Kristen Cole to keep her name out of his mouth. Literally, <laughs> literally, yeah. literally. That's what, that's, and that's what everybody's doing here. They're all moping. Yeah. Uh, nobody's nobody's just, happy. I'm moping. Nobody's happy. It's like I wish more I really, times. I really wish I never had sex with her. <laughs> I don't think you. There's no that. tournaments going on. Yeah. There's no extra shit. It's, it's like just, the other guy. The other guy sits at the table. It's like, oh, I hate it here. Tournament, like, tournaments are events for peacetime. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But according to the small folk, they're happening in mm. the castle. Mm. Oh yes, and that was something they're seeing. It's like, hey, there we see all these lamb going to yeah. the Red Keep because the thing to remember, they didn't really emphasize this as much. They've mentioned it here and there, but you have. The Red Keep is the main castle mm -hmm. where, you know, the king and all that. And then you have the castle within the castle mm -hmm. in Magor's Holdfast. That has already been created. So we don't really know if this is small folk in Magor's Holdfast or the Red Keep or well, is it just around the city. hundreds of people that work in yeah. the castle. Well, I mean, that scene in particular where they're basically carting the sheep through the streets. So the, those sheep are food for the dragon. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. And it's going through King's Landing to... Uh, was it the Dragon Pit or probably the Dragon Pit? Yes, that's like that. right. Yeah. Well, the Dragon Pit is in Dragonstone. No, 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 no. no, 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 no. no. There's like, two. So you have Dragonmont that's in Dragonstone, and okay. then you have the Dragon Pot that's in King's Landing. Okay. Yeah, Dragon Pits. You know, places where the dragons hang out. Yeah. 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 So yeah, they can but, be summoned by chanting monks. I know. I know. But, 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 <laughs> we basically got to, got to see that things are getting really bad in King's Landing in terms of like lack of food. Mm. Uh, rations. Like, like rations, supplies are running out. And we, we saw Ulf in the tavern. Drunk ba again. Ba basically eating like very thin fish soup. And one of uh, the white worms uh, agents is in there spreading. Stir in the pot. Yeah, just stir in the pot. Man, can you imagine these rich people over here just eating like yeah. kings? And, and it's rightfully. Yeah. yeah. Have you guys seen those cheap fakes up at the Red Castle? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah, the spreading propaganda. Because I didn't really, we didn't really understand exactly what they were doing at the end of last episode. Now we do. Now we yeah. do. Hey, spread this message among the small folk. Let them know that Rainier is still thinking of you. And then the, the, the later on, lights. later on the episode was a freaking clutch move. We'll talk about yes. that in a second. Uh, so we're back. Corliss with... finally puts his pen on. Oh, God, he finally does something. Like, Jesus yeah. Christ. <laughs> yeah. He was in mourning. He lost his life. <laughs> he still is. He sits there. He's like, Guess I'll put my pen mm -hmm. on really mm -hmm. slow. Mm -hmm. And I'll stand here at the council. Don't meeting. mind me. Don't I'm mind gonna go me. Down. <laughs> I'm going to go down and not acknowledge my bastard I will, son. I will, I will say this, though, is that at least Rhaenyra is starting to make some fucking decisions. Yeah, yeah she's getting she's gotten fed up at this point. <laughs> well, we were fed uh, up. Like, like mm, I'm going to mac out with this that's hot right. chick. Well, that's, uh, we'll get there in a second. Right. We'll uh, hold there. on, we'll hold on, hold on. So I, she... She goes with Jace's idea from the last episode where he's like, well, maybe they don't have to be pure blood to this ride a dragon. This is the best part of the whole episode. Yeah. Yeah. So they get this poor sap. Sorry, son of a bitch. <laughs> What's it this just, guy's name? Look, Dark Stephen Dark. Darkling. It's Darkling. You, you knew where this was going. Oh, yeah. A second. He's all, he's all excited. He's way like, too nervous about stop. it. So, so, so they basically, they mm -hmm. are... Um, they are of House Duskendale. Mm -hmm. The Duskendale is noted because basically Sir Dantos of... Sir Dantos Holland was a descendant of that house. Duskendale, the defiance of Duskendale was what finally shattered Eris, the Mad King Sanders. But anyway. No wonder he's never going to finish his book. <laughs> <laughs> but, well, it, it was kind of funny like when Renera floats the idea that's like, you know, we've traced your lineage to uh, Targaryens. You got Targaryen blood and we've We'd like you to try to ride a dragon, and and he's just instantly he's like, yes, yeah, please. Sign yeah. Me yeah. Yeah. She warned him like, fuck this, yeah, dragon. She's probably like, gonna you, die. You said you could probably die, and he's like, dude, I'm cool. Um, it's worth yeah. it. And the but thing about it that's risky is that he is one of her queen's guard. Mm -hmm. So that's like, oh, who lose him? Yeah, yeah. He was that guy who pretended to be the monk that took her into. Yes. Like, yeah, he yeah. Gave her her crown. Yes. Yeah. What a what a 
What an asset to lose. Like, they, you couldn't have used Where a guinea pig. Go, you couldn't have used a guinea pig, somebody else that might have had, like, so, Targaryen blood to them. That will come up in the next episode. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> Eventually, Maybe. we'll get to it. Because it, <laughs> it, 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 it seems with here, they were kind of focus group testing it. Yeah. So they're going wide scale with what they're going to do. Yeah. And again, it's that entitled mindset. They're thinking only of, oh, true born people mm -hmm. at this point. So, Stefan Darkling. He's probably a second son or a third well, son. Well, it's like your yeah. grandmother's grandmother was a Targaryen. It's like, bro, yeah. there's like seven generations like <laughs> separated on your mother's side. Yeah. But like, look at Jace. He's a strong. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's yeah. a strong sure. boy. But yeah. he's, he's half Targaryen. Right. Yeah. They're talking about like one eighth Targaryen. So are Adam point. and Alan. <laughs> one eighth, probably like one sixteen. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like, he's yeah. not very much, doesn't have a lot in him. Uh, maybe maybe a little bit on paper, but like it would be like, it would be like, so much more useful to go for a, a half Targaryen yeah. bastard somewhere. Right. Yeah, well, it'd, some, it'd, be, it'd be like me going and claiming my sixty fourth Cherokee blood. <laughs> yeah. to, to get my casino check. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, you know, that's impossible. And that's, well, and, that's, and, that's, and that's and that's. Oh, go ahead, man. Uh, I was going to say what was interesting about that scene where Darkland tries to claim Sea Smoke is that Sea Smoke basically gave him the opportunity. Like he he kind of like submitted and he was yeah. like, okay, okay, hop on. And when Darklin basically like hesitated and he was like still kind of like nervous and scared, that's when the dragon was like, okay, this guy's not. No, I think, that, guy, I think that dragon was fucking with him. <laughs> the dragon was fucking with him because you saw what happened later in the episode in terms of when it comes to fear. Yeah. And understandably so. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It doesn't have much to do with fear what, because. Well, no. Sea Smoke plays too much. No, it, it, wasn't, about, it wasn't about fear because once, once Sea Smoke was in front of, uh, what's his name? Jason? Jason? Oh, Alan. Alan. Uh, Adam. 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 Adam or Alan? <laughs> Which one's got the dreadlocks? Adam. Adam, Adam okay, has dreadlocks. Okay, so. He Dreadlocks. So Adam. so once Drag on. once Sea Smoke was in front of Adam. Alan? Adam. 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 <laughs> once he was in front of him, uh all the fear went away because like once they locked eyes, you understood. Like, like, like he he basically like knew like, oh, this dragon's not here to kill me. Like th there was just like some connection there. Mm -hmm. It was some Pokemon shit. It was like I, uh, dude, I choose Adam, you. I choose you. Well, in old Valyria, <laughs> that's how they became dragon riders is they did blood magic. And so mm, yeah. there's this magic within the blood yes. of people that came from old Valyria. And so the the magic that's in his blood is more pure. It's more potent. Than the one that came from like my Stephen. grandmother's grandmother. Right. Yeah. But before we get into that. And there's a bond hold, hold that on. happens. Matt has some questions. Dragon. Talk to us. I'm, my brain's just trying to process. So he's the bastard son of Coriolis. the sea Coriolis. snake. Yes. yes. Him and, him and he's Alan. not a Targaryen. No. He's a Valerian. The Valerians and the Targaryens both came from old Valeria. But Valeria. Valeria. Okay. I thought I thought only the Targaryens had. No, 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 no. Anybody from old Valeria. Anybody with blood from old Valeria has. Okay. And so the so, and so brother. yeah, so the sea snake has two bastards who are brothers. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So Which Alan is, and Adam. Yeah. Which is why but, Lenor could ride a dragon. Right. And okay. Rainie, oh, <laughs> but I thought that was because he definitely could ride because uh, <laughs> they, they were the daughter of uh, the lady who died. Rainies? Yeah. They're not her. They're, no, that's, she's not the mother. She is not the mother. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> they're we not. Need, right. the whole so thing, next, I, the whole we thing need is, a, we need a just, family tree the whole, on the wall right. over the whole, here. Yeah. The whole thing is they're bastards. <laughs> they don't have last names. They're bastards, but they weren't yeah. born in Westeros, so they don't have like a water, snow, right. flowers, any of that shit. So we'll get back to Sea Smoke in a minute, uh, but I want to cover what happened to Damon because he's freaking in dream la la land again. I'm getting Damon tired of these fever dreams. Yeah. I want daddy. But you know what? You know what? Okay, what? It did lead. One of the highlights of the episode, we got yeah. to see Patty Constantine. We did, that is true. It was nice that to was see cool. him. Yes, yeah. Patty Constantine's back uh, in his in full garb. He's the king again, and he's he's reliving these moments that he had with his brother. And yes. I think again, this whole part is just this story arc for for Damon to be brought down to the point where he's like, okay, you know what? I need to accept my role. No, your I, role. I rejected it from my brother. And I got me where I am. I rejected it from Rhaenyra. And I'm, now I'm here and I'm in the Riverlands and nobody wants to fight for me. Mm -hmm. They have to break him down in order for him to go back to yeah. Rhaenyra and be a part of the team. That's what they're doing. So is he getting a hero's Just, journey? God or damn it, it's taking it so long. Too damn long. <laughs> they could have yeah. done that in one episode. That's, That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Actually, you know what? Two episodes. Two episodes. Yeah. Because it seems like with his storyline, what he did is, okay, he's reliving the moment where mm -hmm. he, I think this was episode one. It was episode one. It was the season premiere, a series premiere. Yeah, when he, when he shipped him off. Yeah, he's like, you got to get out of here. Because, because he made fun of Balon dying. Right. And basically his wife dying as well. And so he regrets. He wishes if he could do it over that he would have been there for his brother. Right. His grief. Yeah. So he's reliving these moments, these key moments in his life where he feels like he's, he messed up. Yeah. And 
it's it's all aiming towards okay, n- know your role and support your family. But, but it also breaks him down enough where he basically asks um, Alice, Rivers. Al- Alice Rivers for help, mm-hmm. and uh, that pays Council. off a little later. Mm-hmm. And and she oh, and she's like, give it three days time, the tides will turn. And I'm like, what is this bitch? God, too much going on, man. Yeah. <laughs> it's a little but, witchy. I, I like thought it. it was just regular murder. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so she's a cool character. One of my favorite. Yeah. Coolest. Show. So uh, that being said, let's talk about what she actually does because it's revealed later and it's in the same storyline and I don't want to forget. So basically, she goes to the Tullys mm-hmm. in secret and well, not even in secret. She goes to aid. Well, she's a healer. The, the guy who's in like a coma or whatever. She the, kills Grover Tully. And she kills him. Yeah. But she makes it look like it was just a natural thing. They couldn't help it. He was trying to heal him. And, you know, yeah. <laughs> I was very disappointed that his heir was an Elmo Tully. That very was disappointing. Elmo. Elmo. That was. Oh, I, I thought it was Kermit Tully. <laughs> <laughs> what about Bert? Bert and Ernie. What is that? No, no, that no. That, that's legitimate. Like, that was legitimate. Kermit Tully. Yeah. Yeah. Are you kidding me? No. Not seriously. Bert and Ernie Kermit Tully? <laughs> yeah. So there was Elmo. <laughs> there was Grover and Kermit Tully. Get out of here. He is that real? He did that on purpose. What the? Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> I kid you not. That is not real. It is real. He's a funny guy. It is real. He's a so funny, he's a fun guy like Kawhi Leonard. <sighs> <laughs> Did you take this show even less seriously now? <laughs> I can't. I just want some dragons. <laughs> I want <laughs> dragons <laughs> fighting. <laughs> some dragons. I just you I know, know, what, you know tits, tits and dragons. <laughs> <laughs> like throw, throw some fucking dick in there. I, I don't <laughs> care. They did that. Oh, we, just, we saw that us, already. Yeah. Just give us something to talk about. Yeah. This, this is just like it's all. Days of our lives, bullshit. It, I'm, I'm just, just so desperate. For I'm new tired. Like I'll take a dick. I'll take, I'll take balls. I'll anything. Take anything. Give me some. Give me some. Give me some saggy old lady titties. Or something, so we, man. So we, all, so we you got <laughs> dragon dicks. I'll take. What else? So going back to just re- re- near, I just remembered that she yeah. actually, when she suggested doing the thing with Stephen Darkling, another of the gray beards on her council was all like, ah, I don't like it. Ah, and then she basically. St- Slaps the taste out of his mouth. Oh, the, sh- the slap. Yes. Yeah. yes. You, like, if you will Listen. recall, I did tell you so. Oh. It's just like you guys, my fault that you forgot to fear me. Go ahead, man. Do you guys watch soap operas? Like, I, had, I did way back in the day. I didn't <laughs> no, know. My, when my I was wife, a teenager. My wife has been addicted to soap operas her entire life. She probably loves this show. She, <laughs> she fucking hates this show. Can't, oh. can't stand it. She, she won't watch it. Cause, okay. Because of dragons. It's, it's bullshit. Okay. She doesn't like these kind of shows. But... Beneath. All this is is a soap opera. Soap operas half the half of their episodes, most of their episodes are, talking. are two people talking in a living room, yeah, or in a coffee or shop, like making, or, 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 or making in, or very in, like right. big eyebrow facial expressions. And all of this show, oh is, my god, you're going, all, you, oh my god, <laughs> all of this show is is two or three people talking in a room. Hope Brady. There might be a fun, more fancy room with sconces with tapestries. fire shit and tapestries <laughs> but it's still just a freaking soap opera yo you remember when Marlena was possessed by the devil yeah which one, one? That, which was, that was some wild shit <laughs> you remember when she had like a twin an evil twin oh my god and then Stefano oh god yeah <laughs> Stefano bro that's an evil guy right there. Stefano yeah. Demira, yeah. Tony Demira, his son, yeah. and then AJ. I think it was AJ who was his younger son. You want to talk about Days of Our Lives? Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, okay, but, let's uh, do it. <laughs> but that's all I'm seeing. That can be later. That's all I'm seeing here, and especially the last two or three episodes. They gotta get some shit moving here, yeah. Because they're it's, they're they're losing me. They're a Game of Thrones show is losing me. You can't have and I reason. fucking love these kind of shows, but. You know, there, I, I, need, there, I need more. I need more dragons. Snot. There's, 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 there's a way. There's a way. You know. There's a way. There's a way to make politics interesting. Yeah. I think that they're failing it. Right. Because mm-hmm. political intrigue. Because this is the thing. A lot of people, even if you're, you know, even normies. Like, granted, you know, I'm an exception, and Jude's an exception because we, you know, we liked soap operas at one mm-hmm. point in our life. But there is always something satisfying about seeing dynastic, rich as fuck, idiotically entitled families mm-hmm. feuding when done well. And they're not doing it well. Hmm. So. Yeah, it's just I need more. They they need to up up this thing because. So Rhaenyra slapped the taste. She finally did something, um, <laughs> and then also um, I think because they keep repeating certain scenes too. I'm just like Jesus because they're, um, they're getting confusing because they're all set in the same place. Yeah, and mm-hmm. so and so um, Allison. She, I think she visited. She, didn't she visit Aegon again? Yes. Yeah. yeah. And she was actually saying, I'm sorry, because I'm like, yeah, it's your fucking fault. Yeah. So well, she, it's after she got fired from the small council yeah. by Aemon. She went to Aegon. She was like, man, I really screwed up. I'm mm-hmm. so well, sorry. And then she goes to her hey. brother and she asks about Darren, who wasn't raised in King's Landing. It good turns idea. out he's an actual good human. And she's like, yeah. oh, shit. I, uh, it is me. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> and for yeah. any and on any, of, any of the viewers, Aegon, so, sorry, 
Darren is the fourth. He's the youngest child between Alicent and Viserys. He is the third youngest of her sons. So he is basically Aegon, Helena. Yeah, Aegon, Helena, Aemon, and then Darren. Mm, okay. What's up? And so, he's 16. I'm, I'm, every time we record this, I watch these shows. I just kind of have the episode going on as yeah, we mm-hmm. talk. Same. And I'm on, I'm on the scene where um, Night Guy goes and gets <laughs> destroyed by the dragon. It's like, hey, right. you can fly this dragon. It's like, no. No, you can't. But but the 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 dragon handlers are literally sitting there holding sticks with a stick. They're holding a stick. It's yeah, a twig. What is the stick? What is the stick. stick supposed to do? They're supposed to like poke it to uh, get it away. Be good, do dragon. Something. Be yeah, good. do something. Like, do something. Um, <laughs> well, actually, it's, it's just it's just funny. Something they removed <laughs> is they removed. I think the fact that dragon riders actually used whips. They removed that act. Hmm. In this. Well, in the first show, they had like some, they had the same something similar. I remember the the dragon caretakers always had some kind of a thing to like keep their distance yeah. away from the dragon or whatever. Yeah. But they literally have twigs. They just got sticks. <laughs> it's just a like stick. They, they went yeah. and grabbed I mean, what are you going to do? You're not going to stab it. You can't yeah. stab it with a spear. Yeah. yeah it's I, just a stick. Just to be like, hey. Just, I, just, I, and do, I, the, I, and do the dragons I, always have their saddles on? Seems they like They should. It. The ones, at least back here, they do. Yeah. Back then. Because with Daenerys, mm. it made sense because no one had ridden a dragon in like 200 years. I, mean, I loved the singing. Yeah. It just seems weird. Mm. It wasn't the power of many. The I, power I, I do want to get back to um, to Aegon because before um, he's visited by his mother, uh, his brother comes to visit him, Oof, yeah. and uh, and he catches uh, Aegon in a state of consciousness, yeah. And then, like after uh, kind of like checking to see if he remembers almost getting murdered by his brother, mm-hmm. which, what do you which, remember? Which a- a- Aegon, uh, wise, you know, smartly uh, denies. He's like, I don't remember anything. Uh, he then leaves, and as the Grand Maester is coming in, he's like. He basically gives him the order to keep his brother uh, sedated for yeah, as long as pretty possible. Pretty much, he's like, it's going to be a long and recovery. Forget that little small wink, count, wink. that small council bauble that they carry around. I don't even know the purpose of it, but basically the talking he, stick, <laughs> basically <laughs> the popping right. spear. He yeah. presses that into one of like Aegon's burns. Yeah, it's like, Ooh. oh no, he was messing with this poor guy. Oh yeah, it was yeah. like he, when even when he grabbed his head. To kiss him on the cheek, mm-hmm. he like grabbed his freaking burns yeah. and like was like digging into it. And then like, he left. Ah. And then he left the talking bauble with him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's like, "You're still the king. Here you go. You Supposedly. can have your ball back." <laughs> Supposedly. <laughs> and then um, we had that scene in the Eerie. Th- this is yeah. the most exciting scene for me in this episode. Mm. Uh, what is this young woman's name? I always so forget. this is Reyna. She Reyna. Is one of, she is one of David's yes. twin daughters. Okay. She is with Joffrey. Mm-hmm. What bothered me? Why is Joffrey so young? He should be at least 10 years old. I don't know why this kid is like six or seven. I don't know. They'll do Whatever. a flash forward. He'll be 13. Next episode, he'll be 14 um, years yeah. old. Right? So basically yeah. what we see. There are other things that they're changing. She, she finds. I think you need to pick your battle. She <laughs> finds this burnt area in the Erie of all these, these dead sheep and everything. And she's like, this is, she was way bigger than an area than any of her dragons could have done. Uh-huh. Yes. So this is a wild dragon. Sheep yes. stealer. She goes back. She goes back to the Eerie and they start talking. She's like, oh yeah, there's a wild dragon floating around here somewhere. So and her whole thing is, is she doesn't have she doesn't a dragon. She doesn't have a dragon. Her and, dragon died. Her dragon right. never hatched, I should say. Yeah. So we I we all know where this is going. Yeah, she's yes. gonna go find the she's wild dragon. She's gonna go find Sheep yeah. Stealer. Yeah. Is the thing's name, right? Sheep Stealer's yeah. one of the we so, so we this have, is how big he he's is. He's pretty big. He's yeah. pretty big. He's yeah. mud brown. He's right there. He's bigger than Rhaenys's. Yes. 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 He's nice. not as big as Vagar, but almost. Yeah. Yeah. Which is pretty cool. He's bigger than Caraxes. He's bigger than Cyrax. Yeah. So he's However, however there, there's an issue here. Yes, there is. Because in the books, there's a different story than it seems like they're setting oh, up. Oh, totally. The yeah, there's a yeah. completely different story. I'm hoping it, that they at least make her claim him in the same way that Nettles did. Yes. That'll, that'll, and also, which is, which is what? For me. Explain. So, I don't know. Do we want to spoil it? We're not going to spoil it. 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 It's sweet. All okay. of these people are trying, they're like, yeah, we're going to go claim dragons. And all of these dudes are like, we're going to do a force. And Nettles was just this like girl who was like a bastard. She, I don't even think she had a last name. She no. was just this dirty vagabond. And she was like, I'm going to go make friends with a dragon. And no, it, was we'll, we'll yeah. it was very how sweet how she did. I don't want to spoil it. Okay, yeah, don't spoil it anymore. But the thing, the thing, the thing. I loved how the thing, I, I, I see them doing that. I see them doing that. The thing about it, which is kind of like a little out pocket, and I wish they'd kind of established this, is that usually these wild dragons didn't wander too far away from Dragonstone, but they're changing that. Because the veil is not close to Dragonstone. Yeah. Well, they they mentioned that in the episode. They said they're, they're, their hunting grounds are expanding because, because of all the dragons in King's Landing and at, at uh, Dragonstone, the food is getting directed to them. 
Mm-hmm. So all these farmers that used to have sheep all over the all over the Vale and everywhere else, they're all getting shipped to these other locations to yeah. feed the dragons that are hunkered down in these yeah. places. So there's less food, so they have to kind of scavenge and, go a little and farther. Ju- and just to let you know, we have not seen the wild. The only yeah, um, we haven't seen any wild. We've dragons. only seen the only dragons we've seen the riderless dragons, we should say, including the wild ones. We've only seen Vermithor, though we only really saw his head in mm-hmm. last season, and we've seen Sea Smoke, but we saw him last season when he was being ridden by Lenore. We haven't seen any of the three wild dragons, which is Sheep Stealer, Grey Ghost, and the Cannibal. Mm-hmm. The thing I have to admit, it's just a little thing that piqued me. The way they were describing the riderless dragons last episode, it felt too expository. I was just like, don't talk to us. Talk as if this is familiar to you guys. You know these dragons are here. It just felt clunky. I just had to say that. But anyway, mm-hmm. go on. Um, the next thing we get is with uh, Alan and Adam. Yes. and Adam has white, like, Valerian hair. Alan. Alan. No, he Sorry. doesn't. No, he doesn't. He's shaving his head. He's shaving his head because it's white. Yeah. Because it's white. It's yes. white. No, well, is it? Yes. yes. Oh, yes. That's that was the whole point that, of the yeah. scene. Because you can, you can see how it was gray. Yeah, and, and he's shaving. He's, 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 he's keeping like, it under wraps. He's, he's like, like, he has the, he I, does the Charles cut because he's covering <laughs> up. Because I covering thought, he, up I thought he had foam. That's the thing. I, I thought. No, no, Charles, that that was... No hair fuzz that the he's got the same hair as dad has. That's why in the scene before this, when they were talking, he had this like he had this like turban on. Yeah, because he was covering his hair up because he hadn't shaved in a while. Okay, I literally thought he just had like the foam on and he was no no no. That That, that was he was he he was dry shaving. He was dry shaving the the white hair off his head to cover up his identity. Okay, isn't that wild? That is wild. I don't under I I don't get this guy's motivation for like just being like, look, I don't want nothing to do with no Valyrian blood, no dragons. I don't want because he's I don't want to be my my, wants to be his own man. I mean, I guess, but well, not only that, like you got to remember that up until he saved um, Laner's life, not Laner, um, Corliss. Corliss. Corliss's life, yeah. Corliss never acknowledged, acknowledged him. Like that he grew up basically knowing that this guy was his father, but like there was no outreach. There was no like kind of like fatherly anything. So like um, he's just kind of resigned to the fact that like, hey, you know, you know, like I don't want anything to do with your life because you never want anything to do with mine. And Boom. he's the father of both boys. Yes. So he had a relationship with their mother for an amount of time yeah, and he's never acknowledged either of them. No, you're right. Yeah, ooh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> and it was mostly right. out of fear of his wife. And mm. then, you know, we saw... And she has a fucking dragon. So we yeah. saw Rhaenys being like, you need to acknowledge those boys. Yeah. 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 Pull a Roman Reigns. And I'm waiting, I'm still, again, I'm still waiting for this freaking guy to do something. I'd love it if he actually did it. Went and said, you know what? He's moping. You are my son. More moping. He's more moping. Yeah, well. Yeah. Maybe when his, his kid rolls up on a freaking dragon... And maybe then, he'll, well, maybe well, he'll admit, kid, yeah. admit something. And then we basically see Jace and Rainier together, and she's mad because you know Stefan's dead, and she fa- her plan failed, and she feels like, oh yeah. God, we can't do, we can't keep doing this. So we can't keep doing this to people. And he's like, No, we kind of have to. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, think, well, well he he also says like we need Damon. you know Damon. Yeah. And and she takes that as a sign that he has no confidence in her. She got to get off that horse, man. They're better as a team. Both of them. She needs to, to fly her ass down said, to Heron Hall and, and do it be herself. Like, Yo. Yo, man. Because yeah. she literally Give me said, that D. She's, <laughs> <laughs> Give me that or, I'll, or, I'll, or I'll go with V. Yo, because um, <laughs> he basically she basically stated two halves of the same person. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she needs to team up. They need yeah. to team up. That's they're, what I've been saying this whole time. Like when they are together, they are a fucking force. Yeah, yeah. the blacks. And when they're apart, they're they're moping. Well, they're just like flailing about. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, speaking of Rhaenyra's plan to to kind of win over the small folk of King's Landing, sorry, comes. Yeah, the next. The, well, no, the next scene is in um, more ways than one. <laughs> God damn. It. No, but she. But, but, Grow up, you guys. <laughs> I know we're fine. No, but like after, when she's talking to Jace, then Miss yeah. Arya comes into the screen and, and says, hey. "Our gift has been delivered." Yes. And he's like, "What gift?" <laughs> so I love that this kid's just like, "You're doing shit without telling me, man." Uh, but she sends these these little canoes filled with food. Yeah. Mm-hmm. With the black flag, with the red emblem, like yeah. it's obvious. Yeah. And yeah. that just like wildfire. <laughs> yeah. Everybody's like, Queen Rhaenyra thinks of us even now. And it's like, it's just this big <laughs> movement. You, you should say starving. wildfire. We have so much food. Oh my God, you we're guys, doing so we well. I don't know what to do with it. Is, it is, Your it, kings it, are so some, shitty. You want and some? And it's crazy <laughs> because <laughs> it's crazy because she's the one making the blockade. Yeah. Yeah. And then, yeah. Yeah. It's good. And Eamon's like, why are they mad at me? Aemon, this is this is such a weird, no pun intended, but like a blind spot for Aemon. <laughs> it's like, how did you not see this coming, bro? Well, too soon. <laughs> <laughs> 
you need still to, upset you need, about you that. You need two eyes to see it. Yeah. <laughs> so. How can you be so blind? <laughs> <laughs> he would probably be head the we, person of this. We also got, <laughs> yeah, uh, got I'd to see, be dead. <laughs> yeah, we, we got to see how Hugh the Hammer um, reacted to, oh, dude. to this stuff. Dude, dude, he's big Bill's he's, he's, he's a badass in, in Warrior. Give he's me a badass in this show. He's like, oh, you got a bag of food there. It looks good. Bop! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know what? And I'm glad that they showed that because that's a portent. Well, but that's like, like his daughter's dying. Yeah. yeah. Like this is not, already? and he, you know, this is some freaking. He's like, I need them carotene. Uh, dude, I need <laughs> that. I need that. <laughs> I need the carotene for my daughter. Dude. Yeah, man. <laughs> so I, I do like that we see a little bit of a savagery from Hugh the Hammer. Yeah, but, but we're, it, see, we're also seeing he was not the only one stealing food. Sure. Like it was a lot of people. You're seeing the chaos, and we're starting to see that the city watch is trying to break things up. Yeah, so. yeah. Which yeah. is only going to backfire because if, if you try to stop people from getting food, they're just going to freaking massacre. Of course. You. And there's so many more people in King's Landing. Well, they, well, well, we also saw the fallout of that when um, the queen and her daughter were, or, or the queen and the queen regent. I don't know. Yeah. What the queen, the dowager queen. The, do, yeah, yeah, dowager. <laughs> dowager. Uh, dowager. When, when, uh, basically, they have to be evacuated from the Great Sept because yeah. Star small sucks. people are revolting. Yeah. yeah. And they and they see them come out and it's like, <laughs> we, need, gets, we need to get the fuck out. Well, here. first off, <laughs> she gets a face full of shit. She gets a face full of fish. The fish. Yeah, it was fish. <laughs> Yeah. He's like, oh, there's the fish uh, queen. Didn't she? They call her yeah. the fish queen or something like that. Beca yeah, and I think the thing that was also at least nice to somewhat see is that even though she's mostly a shitty mother, mm -hmm. she was extremely protective of Helena and trying to make sure she got out of certain. Yeah, situations. and she knew. Also, there was a scene where somebody grabbed her and the the knight's guard or oh, king's guard or whatever, like chopped the dude's hand off, and yeah. she was like, "Don't." Freaking do that! Yeah. Oh my God, you're gonna get us killed! Yeah, yeah. Like, put your freaking weapons away. But also, it was Aegon's buddies who were the King's Guard with her, and they got one wrecked. of them. Got, yeah, 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 one of them got attacked by a bunch of people. So yeah, things are going south in King's Landing for uh, for the Greens, and Rhaenyra is over here just being like best laid plan. You know what? Yeah. What we I think we're past this part. We haven't talked about what's up. Is that um, they're trying to summon Otto back. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Eamon is like, look, I and need, they can't find it. I need a strategy. Oh, you, oh so, so what? Did, so here's what here's. I, I remember the scene. So basically, Laris was all trying to angle himself as the new hand right. of the king. Right. Yeah. 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 And then and kinda, Eamon sees him coming. Yes. Eamon's just like, do you think I'm stupid? Yeah. He's like, he calls him my a father. toad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you toad. <laughs> then, <laughs> well, because he was the hand, wasn't it? Aegon made him the master of whispers. Yes. Right. And yes. Aegon, he's got a good relationship with Aegon because yes. Aegon's not the smartest. No. And he's easily manipulated. Yes. He does the same shit to Aemon and Aemon's like, get the, get <laughs> shut up, dude. He gives him the Kobe face. Yeah. So, so that's, there's, there's two things we should talk about. So why can't they find Otto? Well, no, Otto's, that's, that's at, what I don't understand. Otto's in the, he's in, he's in High Garden. He's with the Triarchy, isn't he? No, he's with the High Garden. Okay. Because he was, yeah, he said he was going to go home. Right, he was initially going to go to Old Town, but it was Allison who said, "Go to High Garden. Right, make sure the Tyrells are on our side. Okay, you're a able to manipulate them because right now the Lord is a baby or just a young kid, so right. Lord Tyrell. So yeah. that's why the High Towers have so much power, aside from the fact they're an old, ancient, and very rich house. He's so do they just not he's... know where he's at? Where to send the because they said they sent ravens out. Everywhere. Maybe he has an answer. And he hasn't an answered That's yet, probably which why. Is, which He's is the what... one that petitions the triarchy for the Greens, though, isn't he? He did. Yeah, he already okay. did that. Yeah. Oh, okay. But they so, brought it back up. And said, hey, let's do it again. Okay. And the other thing is, is um, the new Master Whispers guy, he gets rejected by... Larry Aiden, Strong, yeah. Yeah. And he goes to the King's Chamber and entrenches himself in with the King. He yeah. says, they're, dr they're drugging you. Yes. They're keeping you sedated. Yes. Mm -hmm. Your life is in danger. Oh, and, 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 he, and, he and he, but he takes the drugs away from yes. him. Yes. Like, you need to live in pain. You need to have your brain sharp yep. because these are dulling it. And yes. Right. So he's so, because, that's very because he knows that his power is with Aegon, not Aemon. Yeah. Right. So if, if he continues with Aemon, he's going to have nothing. Well, he's hey, eventually going to get pushed out. Aegon also knows that he doesn't have any allies. And so, like, no. Larry's is the first one who mm -hmm. kind of like gives him hope. Mm -hmm. That he's just not going to like suffer and die and stuff like that at the hands of his brother. Didn't he say they're going to take his leg? No, no. Right? They, they, he said he said, said he, he uh, the ma maester had bound his leg. I I, I got the impression that, that he was no. telling because he did say you'll never be whole again. That's what he said. You're never yes. going to run again. You're never, never going to run again. Yeah. yeah. But I I ride though. I took that as like they're going to take his leg. And also before, maybe they do, maybe they don't. And, don't and know. going back real quick, there was also a scene I think before the starry scene mm -hmm. where. We see Helena playing with her insects. 
Here's what I don't understand. And this is something that hasn't been discussed since uh, the first episode. Where's Jahara? She didn't die. Only Jaharis died. Oh, yeah, the other kid. So we haven't seen where she is. We haven't even heard any mention of her. So I'm just like, what's going on here? I just have She's to She's not born. That. Clearly not. <laughs> girl. <laughs> a girl. They'll bring her back up when the plot needs her. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah, she's 13 now. Yeah. <laughs> Mary, 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 we're going to marry her off. Like, like, like a soap opera yeah, with yeah. a different yeah. actress. <laughs> yeah. Um, Damon continues with his dreams. I'm just going down the list of what oh, happens yeah, in this I, episode. I, I do want to say that that was like an important scene where the club foot basically like, mm-hmm. you know, yeah. allies yeah. himself Very with... Important. with um, Aegon, mm-hmm. and uh, that's going to have ramifications oh, yeah. later on. So uh, that's there, very there, important. There, there's even like battle lines being drawn within the different sides. I'm kind of getting so we're seeing because I'm finding myself being sympathetic towards Aegon, oh, and yeah. he's and he's an idiot. Yeah. So you're so, seeing it's like I don't know who I'm supposed to root for. So you're seeing within the greens, you're seeing Hunter Green and Jade. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Team Aemon. Yeah. I think that guy's a badass. <laughs> Two yeah. things we need to talk about, and then we can wrap this shit up. Okay. Yeah. Is uh, Rhaenyra and Missaria and Sea <laughs> Smoke <laughs> and Adam. Yeah. Okay. It was it was so funny because when we were watching it, uh, Jude was like, "This hug is going on way." Yeah. Yes. I'm watching this and I'm like, the minute I'm just like, Ugh. "Oh, something's gonna happen." I immediately knew. I was like, "Wait a minute." They're doing they're doing a they're doing, a, they're, yeah, they're, yeah. doing a, they're doing a round <laughs> shot. Well, I, like, I, I I just heard Kathleen Kennedy say like. Put a chicken in game, 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 game. Yeah. <laughs> You know what? I don't know what's it's, going it's, on with what, that. It's what I told, uh, it's, I saw this online, and it was funny, and I told Jude this. Mushroom ghost wrote, wrote in the scene, basically. I needed that. I was actually kind of annoyed about it. I was like, what the fuck for? I mean, here's the thing. If they're I, gonna I, do- I mean, like, George, you know, in the original Song of Ice and Fire series, like, he had uh, Daenerys getting pleasured by her handmaidens, sure. like, you know, like, all the time. So <laughs> this isn't, like, a new thing, but this it was it, it kind of came out of left field it did. In, in this show. I mean, they hinted in Bl- Fire and Blood that there might have been something between Lena and... Rainies and Damon, but they didn't. It was just very, very. You could also yeah. look at it through. It was just um, Lady Misery, just like shooting her shot. Lady Misery yeah. giving uh, like, happiness. She's just like, well, you know what? While I'm here, let's see if I can pull this off. Well, I, <laughs> don't get horny. <laughs> I, I, I mean, Lady Misery, like, like she ran a whorehouse. She was a whore, so like, chances are that, like, you know, this isn't the first time with a chick. She's got her. Skills. It, it was. It was mostly. Uh, it was mostly, you know, the the queen who was like, "Wow, like we haven't seen any build up to this, like, yeah. at all." Yeah, it was and, that, and that's and, and this is the thing, and this is I feel, not just hot D or hot B, but just <laughs> I know I'm I'm a child. Um, when it comes to any situation like this, when it comes to same sex situations, is that most normie people don't really give a fuck. Mm-mm. It's just like just show us some build up. Give us something where it's like it's coming from somewhere as opposed to just like like what happened with Frenchie in season four of The Boys. Yeah, yeah, yeah where for the, sure. Where the fuck did that come from? Out of nowhere. Yeah. <laughs> so it's just like that's all the thing. So this kind of came out. Of, we saw a relationship, but it's just like yeah. it was mainly professional. There's no like touchy. There's no PDA. I mean, we're watching like, we're watching a show that regularly shows incest and we're like, yeah, that makes total sense. Brother it's fucking, the Targaryens. Brother fucking, you know what fine. I mean? Whatever. <laughs> the Lannisters. Hoo-ha. But now we come up with this and we're like, that doesn't make any sense. Well, was, she started off as Damon's paramour. Yes. And they were an item this whole time. And she was his advisor this whole time. Mm-hmm. And now all of a sudden, she's just with Rhaenyra. And now they're going to start hooking up. It just it comes I, out of nowhere. I think she's just And it's not to... book accurate, which drives me out of my fucking mind. Yeah, I know. Like, I know. I'm, that trying, always I'm, does. Try, I'm trying to be they're, better about that, but it is annoying. I know. <laughs> I'm, I'm, try, I'm trying to give a lot of like hands off a lot of reach yeah (laughs) but like they're dragging out this dragon seed thing oh god that that goes like this yes in the fucking book like boom boom, because it's it's fucking exciting because the thing it is exciting and the thing about it is that i was surprised at how small scale they did it like they could have taken care of it in this episode yeah because it's not just about the true born or royal born or whatever the fuck it's the base born the bastard that's where you're going to find a lot of them right like with Adam of Hull, oh, sorry, uh, Hugh, Hammer, and then also um, Ulf. Ulf. Like, mm-hmm. the, the, they're bastards, clearly. So it's just like, you're hinting at them, do something with it. Have yeah. them get out of the fucking city. I don't know why they're still in the city at this point. Like, what's Well, yeah, on? now... Yeah, but so, I just want to finish my thought. Uh, so they're dragging out the, the dragon rider, <laughs> or the dragon seed stuff, yes. and then they're adding this whole storyline of Damon losing his mind in order to find himself. And then they're adding in this love affair between Rhaenyra and Missaria, and it doesn't make any fucking sense, and it's driving me out of my mind. 
Like, I want something exciting. So the, the resources should be spent more on the dragon seed stuff. Yes. And you know what? It would have made more sense with Rhaenyra, why she's been doing a whole big shit, shit ton of nothing, <laughs> is like, hey, you forget that given that they kind of compressed some time, time stuff, she's still recovering from a miscarriage. So it would make sense that, okay, she's not as like capable as she would be physically. And they didn't really kind of hint at that. You can mm. just bounce back from that. Doesn't care if you have the blood of a dragon. All right. Let's talk about sea smoke and finish off this episode. Um, Adam is minding his business. He's just doing his thing, man. Yeah. And this dragon starts flying around and doing circles around him and doing swoop downs. <laughs> and then he's just like, oh my God, everyone, I'm going to die. Everyone else is running. Smoke yeah. is like hide and seek. Fuck yeah. Sea smoke <laughs> wants all the smoke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he rolls out. He corners them. And well, he's I, like, surprise, motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, he does. <laughs> I just I just watched it right. Yeah. And he runs into the he runs into the woods. Yeah, yeah. And there's this little clearing. It's all these rocks. I mean, the red mm -hmm. sea smoke just like whoa, boom, flies <laughs> in. It's like a power slide. Yeah, you know, onto the that was, thing. It yeah. is wild. Yeah. It's awesome. It, this is like yeah. and Adam, like any normal person, is shitting <laughs> just oh, freaking yeah. out, well, freaking out. Well, you know what's funny is like so like they've set up in previous episodes that Adam has been watching sea smoke as he like flies yes. over the bay. Yeah. yeah. And I think that when they tried to introduce like a new writer to Sea Smoke, Sea Smoke took that as like, oh, okay, now I can, now I'm free to like find another writer because, you know, my old writer is, you know, off being gay and pretending to be dead. Most likely, <laughs> most like, most likely he's actually dead. Yeah. He might have yeah. been in Essos. Yeah. But uh, so anyway, like I feel like Sea Smoke kind of like sensed this character in the past. I forget his name. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> Adam. But Adam. Adam. So like, I feel like Sea Smoke has sensed Adam in the past because he's always flying over the beach where Adam's out there like yeah. collecting like, you know, like muscles and stuff. Um, and now that uh, they tried to like pair him with a new writer, Sea Smoke's like, well, I'm just going to go find like, you know, one that's more suited to me. And, yeah. And I, I feel like that's why all of a sudden Sea Smoke showed up on that beach is because like, like him and Adam had sensed each other in the past. I like how yeah, that's cool. I like Alan that. is the, you know, he's the one who's trying to hide his identity. He doesn't want anything to do with it. And Alan is always like, yo, dude, take your claim, man. This is your opportunity. Like, he's the go-getter. He's the one that's got a little bit of fire in him. Adam. Uh, yeah. And whatever. <laughs> Whichever one. The, the dreadlock guy. Adam, uh, Alan, oh. at Arthur, uh, whatever. Is, uh, Renice, Renera. <laughs> he's not a Valyrian name. Um, so. <laughs> I, just, I like the fact that they're they're like, Bert, he's the one who got chosen because he's yeah. the one who has the, the gumption. Again, he's the, one the, who's Pokemon, got that the Pokemon in Westeros yeah. choose you. Yeah, I like it. Cool. And then when he realizes what's happening, he's like, oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> yeah. So after the hot V scene, of course, because everyone's got to interrupt. It's like, dude, you just didn't knock for your queen. So one of the king's guard, queen's guard for Rhaenyra interrupts hot V. Mm -hmm. between and says, hey, man, there's a, there's a dragon with a rider there's on There's a it. dragon with a rider. He's like, he's like uh, Facebook's been uh, flying over uh, Spice Town. She's like, yeah, he does that. But he has a rider. Yeah. <laughs> and he's like, there's a dude on his back. Oh, shit. So she <laughs> runs out and hops on her dragon. And then that's where the episode ends. Yeah, I've never been more blue balled in my life. I know. <laughs> I, I also feel like that was like next week. A next week. Awkward <laughs> ending to, to the episode. Oh, yes. yeah. It was very like, uh, uh, oh, yeah, man. Katie like, Katie just goes, that's how they're ending it. That's <laughs> what I said. As soon as the credits hit, I was like, really? I know. You texted us the, the picture of you, like, let's go about yeah. to watch it. And I was like, I had just finished it. And I was like, oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, I was so excited for this episode. I thought something was going to happen. I mean, some things happened, but nothing crazy. Do you want me to bring you a do something stick? <laughs> so, <laughs> so I think what's probably, without saying much, this will probably give them the idea that, oh, bastards. Yes. Bulgarian bastards. Yeah. We should yeah. probably, or Valerian bastards. We should look into that. Well, she's going to go to her hand <laughs> and be like, hey, man. How many kids you how got? How many kids you got? <laughs> <laughs> we need them all. <laughs> how many chicks how have many? you penetrated? <laughs> my, my, how, my many, dude? How, how many women <laughs> so, experience high tides? The other thing they're going to do, I think, and this is speculation, not a spoiler. Um, I think that they're going to use this as like, now they've already got their propaganda people embedded in King's Landing. Yeah. They're going to use them to put out this call. Any Targaryen bastards oh. come to Dragon. Oh, yeah. Be in, that's, in, that's, you can see that on the, the, the flyer well, on the side. It's going to be in secret, man. Are you a Targaryen bastard? It's going to be a rune. Because, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you want, do you <laughs> want to fly a dragon? Because <laughs> hey, you get to fly a dragon. You too yeah. could the be dragon, dragon Because yeah, yeah. this, <laughs> this, is, this is the big advantage that we, the blacks have over the greens <laughs> is that the blacks have a lot of adult dragons mm -hmm. that are just riderless, where the greens... Other than Vagar, a lot of their dragons are very small. And Sunfire, the only one of the only viable is injured now. Is injured yeah. now. Yeah. Somewhere where Rooks rest. So that's my, that's my, I think that's what's going to happen in the next yeah. two episodes. Well, well, guys, the next episode is the penultimate. Penultimate? Episode. True. 
And that's usually the episode where stuff goes down. Shit happens. Historically in Game of Thrones. Yeah, we'll see. (laughs) (laughs) But anyway, that's it. Um, (laughs) I'm good. You guys good? I'm good. (laughs) I know you've been good for a while. Yeah, Yeah. stuff needs to happen, man. I mean, I guess... So the, I guess some stuff did happen, but it's just boring. Boring. It's a little bit boring. Yeah. We've said the, that a lot. The, the, the sea smoke <laughs> thing was cool. You know, spe- cool especially the power slide in. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the are so cool in this yeah. show. That's one thing I will say. Yeah. Like, uh, they have personalities. Game too. of Thrones cheaped out on the dragons. Oh, absolutely. And, and, and didn't show us enough dragons. Mm-hmm. They didn't look different. Uh, House enough. of the Dragon, yeah. uh, loving how much dragon we're getting, and and also the fact that the dragons look very distinct, mm-hmm. yeah, different sizes, yeah. the colors are actually noticeably different as mm-hmm. well. Unlike with Game of Thrones, where it's just like barely you can maybe see it. Well, that one's kind of green. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, is anybody playing this Game of Thrones Conquest game? No, no, no. You're not playing it, Matt. I kind of figured you might be checking it. It's just all over the HBO stuff. So. Huh. Interesting. Yeah. <laughs> All right, anyway, that's it, everybody. Thanks so much. Make sure to tune in every week when we do breakdowns of each and every episode. We only got, what, three left to go? Two left two, to go? Two, two, two episodes left. Two. Penultimate and the ultimate episode. <laughs> the finale. And then we got a five-year hiatus, so have a good time <laughs> with that. All anyway, right. join us every week. We're here. And uh, comment in the in the comment below. Yeah, comment below your favorite part of the episode. Let us know. And are you bored or are you good? And did we miss anything? Did we miss anything? Well, I'm, sure and we tell, I'm sure I don't even have to tell you this. What did we get wrong? <laughs> <laughs> Besides every name. Every (laughs) Every name name ever. Uh, Not me. (laughs) I just got the hair wrong. All right, folks. Thank you so much for watching. Stay salty. We'll see you next week. Hey, everyone. If you like this video and you can't get enough of the Salty Nerd Podcast crew, make sure to click this video right here for more.